Welcome to the lecture slideshow entitled Engine Room Team Management Engine Room Team Management The demands of modern ship operations require that engineer officers need to have more than just technical skills. Engine room casualties are often a result of human factors rather than only lack of technical knowledge. The importance of developing people skills or soft skills is becoming more and more apparent. This course is aimed at developing the human resource utilization and managerial skills of the participants. The course is conducted based on the guidelines as stated in Chapter 3, Table A3-1 and Table A3-2 of STCW 2010 Code. ETM Course Objectives To enhance the engine room team management skills of watch keepers with the aid of simulators. To develop effective teamwork leading to optimum utilization of engine room machinery and human resources. To provide theory and practical training in the principles of human factors as applicable within the machinery spaces. To support a change of attitude and managerial skills. To enable the engine room team to respond efficiently to changing circumstances and contingencies. Time management slash workload, delegation and planning. What is time management? Time management refers to managing time effectively so that the right time is allocated to the right activity. Effective time management allows individuals to assign specific time slots to activities as per their importance. Time management refers to making the best use of time as time is always limited. Time management includes Effective planning Setting goals and objectives Setting deadlines Delegation of responsibilities Prioritizing activities as per their importance. Spending the right time on the right activity. Effective planning. Plan your day well in advance. Prepare a to-do list or a task plan. Jot down the important activities that need to be done in a single day against the time that should be allocated to each activity. High priority work should come on top followed by those which do not need much of your importance at the moment. Complete pending tasks one by one. Do not begin fresh work unless you have finished your previous task. Tick the ones you have already completed. Ensure you finish the tasks within the stipulated time frame. Setting goals and objectives. Working without goals and targets in an organization would be similar to a situation where the captain of the ship loses his way in the sea. Yes, you would be lost. Set targets for yourself and make sure they are realistic ones and achievable. Setting Deadlines Set deadlines for yourself and strive hard to complete tasks ahead of the deadlines. Do not wait for your superiors to ask you every time. Learn to take ownership of work. One person who can best set the deadlines is you yourself. Ask yourself how much time needs to be devoted to a particular task and for how many days. Use a planner to mark the important dates against the set deadlines. Delegation of Responsibilities Learn to say no at workplace. Don't do everything on your own. There are other people as well. One should not accept something which he knows is difficult for him. The roles and responsibilities must be delegated as per interest and specialization of the crew for them to finish tasks within deadlines. A person who does not have knowledge about something needs more time than someone who knows the work well. 
Prioritizing tasks Prioritize the tasks as per their importance and urgency. Know the difference between important and urgent work. Identify which tasks should be done within a day, which all should be done within a month and so on. Tasks which are most important should be done earlier. Spending the right time on right activity. Develop the habit of doing the right thing at the right time. Work done at the wrong time is not of much use. Don't waste a complete day on something which can be done in an hour or so. Workload. There are dangers of too low and too high workloads and should be avoided systematically using methods like task analysis, delegation, and rotation of work. Workload is divided into two. 1. Expected tasks. Examples. Machinery maintenance. Loading and discharging duties. Supplies. Crew scheduling. Emergency drills. Bunkering. 2. Unexpected tasks. Examples. Flooding. Accidents. Engine room fires. Oil spillages. Piracy. Machinery breakdown. Workload that are directly under your control. Machinery maintenance. Briefing. Checklists. Training. Experience. Defining procedures. And indirectly under your control. Management support. Company standing orders. New technology. Contingency planning means preparing a documented plan for emergencies and to ensure all on board are trained and exercised toward its execution. Every seafarer is required to be prepared for emergencies. Such preparedness can only be built in through well laid out plans, training programs, and properly worked out exercises. A study of a number of casualties have shown that seafarers tend to panic in an emergency as there is no contingency plan and most crew members are not aware of the task they should jump to in an incident. This can only be avoided by suitable contingency plan, for each type of emergency and by carrying out regular drills. Emergency Response and Contingency Plans for Engine Room Personnel An emergency can occur at any time and in any situation. Effective action is only possible if pre-planned and practical procedures have been developed and are frequently exercised. The Contingency Plan provides guidelines and instructions that assist in making an efficient response to emergency situations on board ships especially in the engine room. If the vessel's engine room encounters a dangerous situation that may develop into an emergency, it is extremely important that the whole engine room crew know exactly what they should do to save their lives and minimize damage. It is worth stating that an abnormal condition need not necessarily be cargo related, it might be in the engine room, or involve deck machinery such as a mooring winch failure for instance. Any condition that could compromise the vessel's ability to carry out a smooth, incident-free operation may be considered abnormal. These plans should be used actively during emergency drills. The objective of an emergency plan is to make the best use of the resources available. This will be the shipboard personnel whilst the ship is at sea but may include resources from shore when the ship is in harbor or passing through coastal waters. The plans should be directed at achieving the following aims, rescue and treatment of casualties, safeguarding others, minimizing damage to property and the environment, bringing the incident under control. The plans should include advice on the following, fire, collision, grounding, 
Cargo spillage slash leak. Personnel casualty. Leadership and decision making. What is leadership? A simple definition is that leadership is the art of motivating a group of people to act toward achieving a common goal. What are leadership skills? Leadership skills are skills you use when organizing other people to reach a shared goal. Whether you're in a management position or leading a project, leadership skills require you to motivate others to complete a series of tasks, often according to a schedule. Leadership is not just one skill but rather a combination of several different skills working together. Top 6 Leadership Skills Number 1. Decisiveness. Effective leaders are those who can make decisions quickly with the information they have. Effective decision making comes with time and experience. As you become more familiar with your specific job or role in the engine room, you'll be able to make decisions faster, even when you don't have all of the necessary information. Decisiveness is seen as a valuable leadership skill because it can help move projects slash tasks slash workloads along faster and improve efficiency. Number 2. Integrity. Integrity is often seen as just truthfulness or honesty but in many cases, it also means having and standing by a set of strong values. Integrity in the workplace often means being able to make ethical choices and helping the company maintain a positive image. All shipping businesses seek to hire engine room workers who have a strong sense of integrity. Number 3. Relationship Building, or Team Building Leadership requires the ability to build and maintain a strong and collaborative team of individuals working toward the same goal. Team building requires other leadership strengths, like effective communication skills and conflict resolution. Number 4. Problem Solving. Good leaders are skilled at problem solving issues that arise on the job. Effective problem solving often requires staying calm and identifying a step-by-step -step solution. Problem solving skills can help leaders make quick decisions, resolve obstacles with their team and external teams alike, and ensure projects are completed on time, according to the specifications. Number 5. Dependability. Being a dependable leader means that people can trust and rely on you. A dependable person follows through on plans and keeps promises. The strong relationships built by a dependable leader create a resilient team that is able to work through difficulties that may arise. Number 6. Ability to teach and mentor. One of the skills that differentiates leadership from many other competencies is the ability to teach and mentor. Effectively teaching colleagues or direct reports how to grow in their careers helps organizations scale. Often, this skill requires that leaders think less about themselves and more about how to make their team as a whole successful. Decision Making the thought process of selecting a logical choice from the available options. When trying to make a good decision, a person must weight the positives and negatives of each option, and consider all the alternatives. For effective decision making, a person must be able to forecast the outcome of each option as well, and based on all these items, determine which option is the best for that particular situation. Categories of Decisions Number 1. Routine Decisions Often simple choices. For example the adjusting vessel's speed for economical reasons or how many generators to be used during operations in port, and planned maintenance on machineries. They are usually covered by company guidelines or by your experience or are obvious. 
categories of decisions. Number 2. Instant decisions are when there's no need or little time for judgment. Some instant decisions involve high risk and possibly high stress. For example the threat of machinery malfunction, or loss of power, they need fast reactions. Categories of Decisions Number 3. Considered Decisions Need a lot of judgment. They could be linked to one or more short-term strategies to solve the problem. But they don't have to involve problems. They could be important decisions that need careful thought from the whole team. Examples, engine room fires, bunkering spillages, entering or leaving port in bad weather, machinery breakdown. Notes on decision making. Number 1. Bad decision despite good judgment. A decision is only as good as the information on which it's based. Garbage in, garbage out. So, continually check the quality and relevance of information. Number 2. Decisions that require instant reactions, train yourself to act quickly. Discipline yourself to act slowly. Count to 10. Notes on decision making. Number 3. When you decide to leave things as they are, this is a conscious decision. A decision has been made and you should clearly communicate this fact. Number 4. If you unconsciously fail to take a decision for whatever reason, this does not occur at any particular point in time, this can be serious. This is the end of the lecture slideshow entitled, Engine Room Team Management. Thank you.